So you just landed in Austin? It's 2025. And instead of calling Uber, you open an app, summon a Tesla Model Y, and it drives up with no one behind the wheel. $4.20 later, you're cruising across town. No small talk, no tips, no driver asking if you like EDM. Meanwhile, across the street, a sleek Waymo SUV pulls the same stunt, except it's been doing this for years, silently, safely, and with absolutely no Elon Musk memes involved. Welcome to the driverless showdown you didn't know you needed. Tesla versus Waymo. Two tech giants, two radically different visions of the future, and one massive question. Who actually wins the robo-taxi war? Robo-taxis aren't just coming, they're here. And they're already battling for your streets, your trust, and your transportation budget. On one side, we've got Tesla, bold, chaotic, vision only, and rolling out rides in Austin with $4.20 price tags and Elon's usual flair. On the other, Waymo, Google's brainy, hyper-cautious cousin, quietly running 250,000 rides a week in fully driverless vehicles with no human safety net. This isn't just a tech race. It's a war over the $330 billion autonomous ride-hailing future. And the stakes? How we get around? Who owns the roads? And whether your next car could literally make you money while you sleep? In this video, we'll break it all down. What Tesla just launched, how Waymo's years ahead, where the cracks are in each approach, and what it means for your wallet, your safety, and your future. Let's start with the basics. What are robotaxis really? Robotaxis are autonomous vehicles designed to chauffeur people without a human driver. They're the sci-fi dream that's now an app button away. These AI-powered cars use cameras, radar, LIDAR, or all three to navigate city streets, avoid pedestrians, and obey traffic laws, mostly. The promise? Safer roads, lower transportation costs, zero emissions, and the ability to nap, Netflix, or Zoom call your way across town. The risk? Well, let's just say software bugs hit different at 65 miles per hour. And while dozens of companies have entered the race, Amazon-backed Zuox, China's Baidu, and even Volkswagen, the real fight right now is between two titans. Tesla, with its dream of every Tesla becoming a cash-generating robot while you sleep. Waymo, with six years of real-world, fully driverless experience in major cities. So, how did we get here? And who's actually ahead? Next up, Tesla enters the ring. Tesla's bold move. On June 22, 2025, Tesla officially launched its robo-taxi service in Austin, Texas. It's not a full-scale launch, more like a flashy dress rehearsal. The pilot is invite only, mostly Tesla superfans and employees, with a fleet that's somewhere between 10 and 35 Model Y vehicles. And the price? A cheeky $4.20 per ride. Classic Musk, never missing a chance to meme his way into headlines. But under the stunt pricing is a serious ambition. To challenge the entire ride-hailing industry, Uber, Lyft, and most importantly, Waymo, using Tesla's in-house autonomous tech. The tech stack, cameras over everything. Here's where things get spicy. Tesla's approach to autonomy is fundamentally different. Instead of loading cars with LiDAR sensors and high-definition maps like Waymo does, Tesla goes all in on vision, just cameras, neural nets, and millions of miles of data from Tesla owners. No maps, no spinning lasers, just pure AI intuition. That means lower costs and faster scaling, in theory. But it also means the car has to figure everything out from what it sees, like a digital toddler trying to ace a driving test. And while the tech has improved massively, Tesla's full self-driving, FSD, is still technically level two, meaning it requires driver supervision. So yes, each robo-taxi ride currently includes a human safety monitor, quietly sitting there, just in case. Elon's bigger vision, your car makes you money. Here's where things get wild. Elon Musk doesn't just want Tesla to operate robo-taxis, he wants you to. His vision is that any Tesla owner can opt into the network. Going on vacation? Leave your car at the airport and let it drive people around while you sip mojitos. Sleeping at night? 
Your Tesla's out hustling, earning passive income. Basically, your car goes from depreciating asset to side hustle. It's Uber meets Airbnb meets Robocop. And if it works, it could redefine what it means to own a car. You're not just buying transportation, you're buying a revenue stream. The catch, not there yet now for the fine print. Despite the hype, Tesla's robotaxis aren't truly autonomous yet. The Austin launch requires safety drivers. Reports from testers show mostly smooth rides, but there have been hiccups, like wrong lane driving and awkward turns. Critics argue Tesla's camera-only system lacks the redundancy needed for full autonomy. And then there's regulation. Tesla's rollout, while exciting, isn't exactly winning over lawmakers. Safety watchdogs like Dan O'Dowd are already sounding alarms, saying Tesla's tech isn't ready for prime time and calling this launch alarming. What's next? Musk says Austin is just the start. If the pilot goes well, Tesla plans to expand to Los Angeles and Miami by late 2025, with a target fleet of up to 1,000 vehicles. And eventually, we might see the debut of the mysterious Cybercab, a dedicated robo-taxi with no steering wheel, no pedals, and all the vibes of a Blade Runner Uber. But for now, it's a very expensive beta test with a side of Elon Flair. Meet the OG of Robotaxis before Tesla even thought about $4.20 rides and cybercabs. Waymo was out there doing it. Born out of Google's self-driving car project in 2009, Waymo has quietly become the godfather of autonomous ride hailing. While Tesla launches with 35 cars in Austin, Waymo is pulling 250,000 fully driverless rides per week across four major cities, and not a single human driver in sight. Let's be clear, Waymo isn't some scrappy startup. It's a subsidiary of Alphabet, yep, Google's parent company. That means bottomless funding, world-class AI, and more data than you can shake a LiDAR sensor at. The technology, belt plus suspenders plus bulletproof vest. Waymo doesn't mess around with vision only. These cars are decked out like a Navy SEAL in a smart car body. LiDAR, radar, high-def maps, and cameras, all working together to give the car a 360-degree, centimeter-accurate understanding of the world. If Tesla's like teaching a toddler to drive by looking out the window, Waymo is like giving that toddler X-ray vision and a PhD in traffic law. Their system runs at SAE Level 4 autonomy meaning the car can fully drive itself under specific conditions with zero human intervention. No safety driver, no person behind the wheel, just algorithms and sensors steering your butt across town. Waymo's turf, bigger, bolder, driverless. Waymo's service is live and driverless in Phoenix, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and now Austin. Its vehicles include the sleek Jaguar I-Pace and the Hyundai Ioniq 5 customized for comfort and sensor integration. And unlike Tesla's geofence, Waymo's operating zones are massive, over 250 square miles in total. While Tesla is dipping a toe into Austin, Waymo's already giving robo-taxi rides there, fully driverless. It even launched in Austin earlier this year during South by Southwest. Talk about stealing the spotlight. Track record, the data doesn't lie. Waymo has driven over 10 million miles without a human behind the wheel. Their crash rates, lower than human drivers, police reported collisions, half that of normal cars, injuries, 3.5 times less likely. In short, it's not just working, it's outperforming us, and riders love it. Around 70% say they'd gladly pay more than Uber or Lyft for the smooth, silent luxury of an AI chauffeur. Though to be fair, some users still complain about overcautious driving or weird braking, like it's being driven by a super polite grandma with Wi-Fi. Scaling up slowly but surely now for the downside. Waymo's tech is amazing, but it's also expensive. All that LiDAR, mapping, and sensor fusion doesn't come cheap. That's why rides cost more than Uber. And while Tesla talks global scale, Waymo's playing it safe expanding city by city with high upfront investment. Still, it's moving. New cities like Atlanta and Miami are on the roadmap. Even New York is in testing, though it still requires safety drivers due to local laws. 
Google's game plan. Waymo isn't just building robo-taxis. It's creating a portfolio. It's exploring delivery services, public transit integrations, and partnerships with car makers like Hyundai and Zeker. It's methodical, strategic, and very Google. No memes, no hype, just cold, hard engineering. All right, gloves off. It's Tesla versus Waymo, and they're not just fighting for your next ride. They're battling for the future of transportation itself. Let's break this down, not with a boring checklist, but like the heavyweight title match it is. Round one, brains versus boldness. Waymo is basically the quiet genius in the corner of the room. It's been studying, perfecting its driverless tech for over a decade. And now it's confidently rolling through cities without a single human at the wheel. Tesla's the wild visionary that shows up late to the exam, but swears it can pass purely on vibes and raw ambition. Elon Musk said, maps and LiDAR are for losers, and just went all in on cameras and AI. Tesla's like, what if I just see really hard? And honestly, it's kind of working, sometimes. Round two, nerds versus rock stars, Waymo is Google's golden child. Careful, data-driven, and already chauffeuring people around Phoenix, LA, San Francisco, and Austin, with no drivers, no drama, and a stellar safety record. They even wear matching jackets. Meanwhile, Tesla's rolling into Austin like a rock band on opening night. Invite only meme-priced rides and a tiny pilot fleet with human babysitters in every car. It's loud, it's exciting, and it's not quite autonomous yet. But man, it feels like the future. Round three, safety versus speed. Waymo's whole thing is precision. Its robotaxis are packed with sensors that could probably detect your heartbeat from space. It doesn't just drive, it glides with clinical accuracy. It's cautious to a fault. You're more likely to get annoyed by how slow it takes a left turn than worried about safety. Tesla, goal is scale. It wants millions of robotaxis, not dozens. Musk's dream, you go on vacation, your Tesla goes to work, cruising the streets, making you money while you're sipping a mojito. It's genius. Assuming your car doesn't get confused by a roundabout. Four, the vibe check. Waymo is like riding in a luxury library. Quiet, smooth, slightly sterile, but you trust it won't crash or ask awkward questions. Tesla, on the other hand, is more like jumping into an experimental roller coaster. Thrilling, slick, and with Elon Musk narrating from the control room. People who've ridden Tesla's pilot service say it's smoother than Waymo's. Better acceleration, better braking. But there's still a human in the seat, watching like a nervous chaperone at a school dance. So who's winning? It depends on what you care about. If you want proven safety, a calm ride, and a robot chauffeur that's already legally allowed to ghost the driver's seat, Waymo's your pick. But if you're a gambler, a visionary, or just someone who likes the idea of their car paying for its own tires, Tesla's got the upside. Massive upside. Like turn your driveway into a revenue stream upside. Final verdict? Waymo is winning today. But Tesla might own tomorrow. Unless, of course, Zooks, Baidu, or some wild card from left field shows up and changes the game entirely. Either way, the robo-taxi war is on. The roads are the battlefield, and your city might be next. Would you trust a robo-taxi with your life? Who wins this war? The careful nerd or the tech cowboy? Let us know in the comments, and smash that subscribe button like it's the gas pedal on a driverless future. This is AI World where the future isn't just arriving, it's self-driving.